logo animations are much more engaging when they loop perfectly. While complex animation theories can be challenging, simple position and scale keyframes often work well. In this video, I'll show you how to animate a logo and create a perfect loop. Let me share some examples of perfect loop logo animations. These animations are visually appealing, easy to follow, and can even be a bit addictive. This quality is great for enhancing a brand's identity, making the logo memorable and engaging. Learning how to create logo animations will boost your design skills and can lead to more opportunities and higher earnings. I've chosen a specific logo to demonstrate the techniques needed for creating a smooth and engaging logo animation. So, welcome back to my channel, and let's jump into After Effects. I used only the position and scale properties to animate this logo. Let's start with the letters, specifically creating a falling S letter effect by using a pad. Press Y on your keyboard and move the anchor point to the end. Make sure you deselect everything before you start drawing with the pen tool. Next, search for the path and create a keyframe. Copy this keyframe, then select the letter layer. Press P to open the position properties and paste the keyframe you copied from the path layer. The position keyframes will automatically appear. To create the touching effect with an overshoot keyframe, move the time indicator near the end position keyframe and adjust the value. Bring the keyframes a few frames back and adjust them in the graph editor. That should do it. Now, let's focus on achieving a touching circle effect. Begin by adjusting the opacity and scale properties. Press T to access the opacity properties and set the value to zero. Copy this keyframe and move it further along the timeline to establish the ending position. Next, place the keyframe at the midpoint and adjust the opacity value to 100%. To set up the scale keyframes, press S to access the scale properties. Create two keyframes, one with a value of zero and another with a value of 100. You can adjust the animation speed by pressing and holding the Alt key on your keyboard. With these adjustments, you should achieve the desired touching circle effect. Now, let's move on to the letter U layer. To begin, set the anchor point to the left side of the letter. Press S to access the scale properties. Set a keyframe at the current position, then move further along the timeline. Next, press V to switch to the selection tool and adjust the size of the letter U until it disappears from view. This approach should effectively animate the desired effect on the letter U layer. I adjusted only the position properties for the other letters. This task can be done collectively by selecting the layers and adjusting the position value. Make sure you put an overshoot animation for each letter. Now, let's move on to our logo mark. To animate this, start by using the pen tool to draw a path. Then, apply a stroke with your desired thickness. Add a trim path and set a keyframe for the end position. Create another keyframe with a value of zero. Once the end keyframes finish, set the start and end keyframes in the trim path to zero and 100 respectively. Finally, smooth out the animation. Adjust the stroke length by finding and setting the starting length to 100. You can achieve a similar effect for the logo mark by using the trim path technique. Start by drawing over the logo with a stroke that overlaps it. We need to animate this stroke and then mask it to the original one. Then, select the stroke in the track mat settings. This will create a smooth and attractive animation effect. With these techniques, you can animate any logo and make it visually appealing. To create a seamless loop, will ensure the logo elements disappear before the sequence ends. You can achieve this by adjusting the scale properties with three keyframes, start, overshoot, and end. Don't forget to subscribe and hit a like button if you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one.